Hey guys, I'm Amrod, and in the recent videos, I have shown you how to use Light Map Pro, how to uh, place uh, light settings somewhere, or basically how to copy light settings from this like zone to your own zone. And now we will take a look at the rest of Light DVC, and I will show you what you can do just with Light DVC. And in uh, next and following episodes, I will show you more advanced stuff. Basically, I will show you how to completely customize your light settings. Uh, so right now we are in Dune Morok and I would like to show you what happens when you change weather. Because when we turn, for example, snow on, you can see that clouds suddenly become more dense. We've got more clouds. Uh, we've got uh, more dense fog. At least I would say so. We've got a uh, lower view distance and so on. So weather completely changes. And this isn't just some hard-coded effect or something like that. This is actually all set in white DVC as well. So when I turn weather off, you can see that I can suddenly see further away. I can see those mountains here while I wasn't able to see them. So there are completely different light settings for normal weather, weather and for stormy weather, basically. Uh, so that's something important to know and if you want to customize these you can actually it is possible uh, so let's go to light dbc i was in dune morog by the way i don't want obs i want this one i was in dune morog so id 16 is skybox or uh, light setting i will uh, modify here so 16 is dune morog or uh, eastern dune morog and you can see here we've got values we have already edited before. We've got uh, ID of light setting, we've got continent ID and coordinates and radiuses. So this is basically placement, this left half. And this right half, from here on, this, these are light params actually. And light params are what makes uh, light settings different. Light params uh, are presets how sky and fog and uh, lightning and uh, water and so on uh, what they look like in a different circumstances basically so the first one here is for clear weather the second one here is for clear weather while you are underwater this one is while uh, weather is stormy so there's storm there's rain there's snow something like that and this is for stormy weather while you are underwater this one is for dead so when you are dead uh, this one should be used uh, actually three are used for two and three as values here but to me it seems here's something something different but to me it seemed like uh, this column is completely ignored by game client and it seems to me that changing this doesn't really do anything prove me wrong if i'm wrong by the way uh, then there are some uh, free light params we don't really know what they are for. They are used only in Rough Odoich King and they are used only in some circumstances. It seems that these are bound to phases, so maybe phased uh, zones uh, are using different light params for different circumstances as well. But you don't have to worry about these three. So basically, for most of uh, circumstances you will just deal with those three those uh, four uh, light params which are here now let's just uh, take a look what you can use them for you can for example combine uh, different light settings from different zones together and match them together and I will show you what you can actually do when you create your own custom light params I will show you how to create custom light params in following videos but for now uh, let's just take a look uh, how it can be used so i have entered my custom light params here let's go to game client and return to our dune Morok. So nothing has really changed. There is still normal light effect. Uh, so that unchanged 
uh, 34 here is really for clear weather. Now let's turn, uh, for example, sandstorm on, and you can see that basically shit is just getting real because everything is turning red. What I have done is that I have copied Doom Morok uh, light patterns, but I have changed a uh, fog color to red, and this is what it produces. You've got red fog, red horizon, red mountains there, and you've got red weather effect as well. Uh, when you get underwater, it uh, changes yet again, and now it is blue. So you can see that stormy underwater effect is now blue. And when I turn weather off and go underwater, you can see that everything is turning to green now. So it is normal while outside the water, green while underwater. So these are four actual four light effects which are bound to this one sphere which is placed here in Eastern Dern Morok. Uh, so these four values here are for four different circumstances and you can use them to your advantage, you can match them together, you can for example say that while uh, weather is stormy there will be storm peaks uh, sky effect. So let's do that, just for fun. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to Northrend. I'm probably blind. Yes, I am. You're Northrend. Let's go to Storm Peaks. Eight hundred, eighteen hundred, forty-three. This one. So we can see that in storm peaks, the same weather effect or sky effect is actually used, same light patterns are used in all four uh, circumstances. Let's go back to our ID 16, that's in Tunmorok. And let's use it for stormy weather, for example. And let's use uh, this one for normal weather. And you can see that we've got our red fog yet again. Uh, it will remain here even when we go underwater. And when we turn weather on, let's use snow for example. And now we are getting uh, sky which is used in storm peaks uh, at one spot. So it is this purple-ish gray color. And we've got uh, orange water, so we can see that the uh, light effects really affect uh, water color as well, quite a lot. So that's it. Uh, so guys, this is how you can use just like DBC, uh, if you know what it is for. And there are more DBCs. There are light params and uh, light in band, light skybox, and light float band. So there are actually four and other DBCs. Three of them are setting uh, things like colors and fog density and light color and water color and so on. So you can do a lot by changing light params or creating your own. So if you are interested in this, keep uh, stay tuned and uh, expect another videos because in uh, I build you more videos and in following videos I will show you how to create your own light patterns and how to change existing ones. It's a little bit tedious but it is possible and then you can really do things like water in Elvin Forest is orange or something like that. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, I hope this was useful and as always, happy modding!